So VB is the minimum velocity at the bottom, which will ensure that the mass goes complete in the circular path. Root 5 gr. So the minimum velocity at the bottom is root 5 gr. So the velocity with which the motion should start from the bottom, that velocity should be greater than equal to root 5 gr. This is the bottom line. Okay. Now the tension at the bottom. The tension at the bottom, so T minus mg at the bottom, mg is just opposite to that should be equal to centripetal force that is m v square upon r. So v square upon r is 5 gr upon r. So tension at the bottom for this particular case comes out as 6 mg. Now this is the minimum value of tension at the bottom minimum value the tension at the bottom minimum value of this is 6 mg so somewhere if it is some breaking strength of the tension is given that you can check whether that string will be able to survive the circular path or not because the minimum value of tension that will be generated for a circular motion will be 6 mg if this tension value is cannot be achieved then it is impossible for the bob to go around in a circular vertical circular path okay okay so now what we have learned is if the velocity at the bottom is greater than or equal to root over 5 gr then that ensures that the bob will go will complete the vertical circular motion now what if it is less than this now as we have discussed before that in the lower half of the circle tension cannot become zero so the bob cannot come out of the circular path so let's find what velocity at the bottom will ensure that the bob will actually not go above this not go into the upper half of the circle circle so it comes here maximum displacement could be at to this point so let's calculate the velocity for the extreme case. So the velocity at the bottom half m v b square. There's only kinetic energy and the velocity at the top. It just reaches the top and the velocity becomes zero because if there is some velocity, it will go further. So it cannot go further. So we are calculating that velocity that it cannot surpass this point. So the velocity at this point is zero. So the all the kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy. So m g into r. Okay. So the velocity at the bottom should be less than equal to root over 2 g r. Then it will ensure that the bob remains in the lower half of the circle. So if the velocity is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to root 2 g r, then the bob is going to remain in the lower half of the circle and the bob is going to remain in the circular path it's not going to come out of the circular path so greater than zero less than root 2 gr now if it is greater than root 5 gr then it is going to complete the circle so let's now examine the case between these two if the velocity is greater than root 2 gr and it is less than root 5 gr that means it crosses this point but could not cross this point it came to some point and uh, something happens something happens now let's see what would happen let's consider a point an intermediary position like this now at this point see if that tension becomes zero and the velocity does not become zero then the bob is going to come out of the circular path because if tension becomes zero, that means the bob is not attached to the string and it still has some velocity, so it will go in some other path. If the velocity becomes zero and the tension does not become zero, then it will not come, it will not be able to come out of the circular path because there is still some tension. So it will go up and it will come down. So it will do an oscillatory motion. There could be two situations. Let's examine them one by one. First, let's consider that the tension becomes zero. So 
If the tension becomes zero and this angle let's consider is theta, then T it at any position T plus mg cos theta. mg cos theta is in the direction of tension. This together should be equal to mv square upon r. This together should act as a centripetal force. Now consider that the tension becomes zero. Tension is zero. Okay. Now if tension is zero, then let's see what happens to the velocity. If tension is zero, then v square is it or you can say that cos theta is equal to v square upon rg tension becomes zero mg cos theta alone is acting as centripetal force at that very moment cos theta should be equal to v square upon rg now cos theta this is theta at this point this angle is 90 degree at this point this angle the angle between the radius and this mg this is zero so we are going from 90 degree to zero so cos theta value will go from zero to one so the maximum value of a right hand side could be one so this should be equal to less than equal to one so v square should be equal v should be equal to less than should be less than equal to rg